Welcome to the new section of Gospel Reading and Reflection. Today, October 25th, 2020. I am Father Stephen Chum. If you did not subscribe to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive Gospel Reflections regularly. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 22 verses 34 to 40. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they came together and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the New Testament we see, Pharisees, scribes, Sadducees all came to ask Jesus several questions. That is one kind of teaching used by the ancient masters. With these polemics, the disciples' knowledge grew and they understood the real meaning of their master's teaching. In today's Gospel we see, Pharisees are coming to Jesus and one of them, we should remember, he is a lawyer. Some versions say a scholar of the law, asking Jesus, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Many questions asked by Pharisees and Sadducees are to put Jesus in trouble or find him guilty. We can see different questions like, Is it lawful to give tax to Caesar or about the resurrection of the dead? and so on. But here, this question is not a trick question, but is designed to see if the Galilean preacher knows necessary to be teaching others about God and his will for their lives. We can see the answers of Jesus was the love commandments from Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 and Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. The first commandment is part of the Shema, the monotheistic creed of Israel that the faithful recited as part of their daily prayers. It is the greatest commandment of the Torah because it spells out the highest obligation of every person which is to love the Lord with combined strength of one's heart, soul and mind. The love he demands is not simply affection or emotion but a commitment to keep the Lord's covenant. The second commandment calls us to love our neighbor with the same solicitude we naturally care for our own needs. In the preaching on the mount we see, Jesus tells his disciples to consider one's enemies as neighbors and love everyone. He says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rains to fall on the just and the unjust. Matthew chapter 5 verses 44 and 45 In the Torah we can see the love commandments sum up the ten commandments, three of which delineate our responsibilities toward God and seven of which concerns our duties toward others. According to Paul, love is the greatest theological virtue. He says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13, Faith, hope, love remain these three. But the greatest of these is love. And love fulfills God's moral law. In Romans chapter 13 verse 8 to 10 we read, Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this saying, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. Catechism of the Catholic Church 1822 and 1823 teaches us about the love commandment like this. Charity is the theological virtue by which we love God above all things, for his own sake and our neighbor as ourselves for the love of God. Jesus makes charity the new commandment. 
by loving his own to the end he makes manifest the father's love which he receives by loving one another the disciples imitate the love of jesus which they themselves receive when jesus says as the father has loved me so i have loved you abide in my love and again this is my commandment that you love one another as i have loved you let us pray lord our god help us love you with all our hearts and love all men as you love them jesus we love you 